Hello, this is Dr. Micah Jazz with Be Still and Know. Ever experienced the annoyance of a background sound which, whilst not loud, is constant and invades your consciousness? Eventually it becomes all-consuming and demands to be dealt with. Problem is, you have to search high and low to locate its source. I had just such an experience last winter and eventually, feeling exasperated and stressed, I tracked the source to a heating valve. I'd just about turned every device on and off in my search. A simple adjustment and what was in reality a minor irritant that had grown into a significant distraction was dealt with. Once again I could hear silence and the regular sounds of our home. Listening to God is a bit like that. God's faint knocking is persistent in the background seeking to attract our attention. However, with so many distractions demanding our consideration, legitimately and illegitimately, it's all too often lost within the cacophony of sounds that fill our lives. These are the daily demands of work, family, friendship and fun. The anxieties that besiege us together with the fears we each carry. This is one reason we can feel as though God is silent. The immediate pressures from daily life do the work of God's enemy and direct our focus away from God. It is only as we begin to seek after that dim knocking that we begin to seek out God's voice. We may explore so many of the other sources of noise in our life in the expectation of finding God there, but to our frustration, God is not there. I so often thought God was in the ministry or the acts of service only to be disappointed. Such ministry or acts might well reflect aspects of God's grace but are never themselves the reality of God's presence. This is experienced in the events that interrupt my life, be it a challenge to my conscience, an inconvenient intrusion to my plans or an apparently irresolvable problem. Like tracking down my faulty radiator valve, I have to go in search of just where exactly am I to hear God's voice. This is both a test of my patience and my desire. In fact, the two are closely related. The depth of my desire will drive my patient perseverance until I discover what I'm seeking. Sadly, there's no formulaic fix for listening to God. It is an individual journey that begins afresh each and every day. Yet, celebrating the fact that we hear God's voice, the source of that constant knocking, is insufficient. I need to open the door of my heart, which means I must surrender to whatever it is God requires of me. This may well interfere with many of the other engaging distractions that surround me. It remains my choice the degree to which I surrender and therefore the degree to which I continue to listen to God. As we enter into the God space today, how aware are you of that faint knocking that calls for your attention? It's not something to be ignored, although it may be distinctly discomforting. So the invitation becomes clear. Will you pause and listen? Discern what God is saying and open your heart and life to what God has for you. I'm, I'm now very relaxed with the fact that I have no clue where and how I'll hear God each day. One thing's for sure, I'm seeking to listen in each and every moment. Now, I love to hear your stories and insights and comments, so please do write to me, micah.jazz at premier.org.uk, and I'll write back personally and in confidence as soon as I can. And visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. Join our growing voice of hope family and follow along with these daily meditations at home in print or direct to your favourite mobile device. 
Join me this Sunday for Premier Life where we celebrate God's love with worship, with prayer, as well as one of your own wonderful testimonies, as well as for Be Still and Know throughout the week. But for now, from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and God bless.